So you want to use a frame in Elementor but don't know how? Well, I'm here to help. Hi there, cool deep this side and in this quick video, I'll show you a couple of methods, free and paid, by which you can add iframe in WordPress and Elementor. But before I dive into the methods, here's a quick explanation of a frame. An iframe, short for inline frame, is an HTML element that simply allows you to embed content from an external website. In simple words, an iframe creates a small window on a web page that displays content from another source and it's often used to display content such as videos, maps, or social media feeds, within a website. The good news is iframes are natively supported by WordPress and hence using iframes in WordPress is pretty quick and easy. Here's how to do it. The very first and simple method is using a code. To add an iframe in WordPress, simply use the custom HTML widget inside the Gutenberg editor. Similarly, you have got an HTML widget inside the Elementor editor that you can use to put the code to display the third-party content. That's it. This way, you can add iframe inside the WordPress and Elementor editor. However, the problem with adding iframe using this simple code is its limitations. Hence, it's better to use the second method of adding iframes using an add-on. Now talking about the add-on, out of a dozen Elementor add-ons, there are only a couple of Elementor add-ons that offer an iframe widget. Out of all, Element Pack's iframe widget is one of the most advanced ones. This add-on offers an iframe widget that will allow you to embed audio, video, Google Maps and almost any website. Not only this, you'll be able to tweak its settings like alignment, responsive settings, height and width of iframe, and many more. The widget has additional features such as lazy loading, scroll bars, 360 degree view and many more customization options. Here's how to add an iframe in the Elementor using the Element Pack iframe widget. Step 1, download, install, and activate the Element Pack add-on. The link can be found in the description. Element Pack add-on comes with 280 plus widgets, 300 plus ready to import pages and 1900 plus ready-made blocks, and it's one of the leading Elementor add-on. Please note, that you'll need the pro version for the iframe widget. Step 2, once you've installed the add-on, jump into the Elementor editor by creating a new page. Step 3, once you're inside the Elementor editor, search for iframe in the search bar. Now, drag and drop this iframe widget into the canvas. Step 4, now it's time to configure the iframe widget. Under the content source, enter the URL of the website or page you want to embed. For demo purposes, I'm adding Element Pack's official website. Boom! It was that simple, the website is successfully embedded in the iframe. The best part about this widget is its customization options. Hop into the styling tab and you can customize it as you like. Now the last step would be to simply save and publish your page to see the iframe in action. That's it. By following the four simple steps, you can easily add iframe in Elementor. I hope you found this video useful. Drop in a comment and let me know which method you're going to use. If you need more info regarding iframe, Check out my blog post that covers the topic in depth along with FAQs. Lastly, please give it a like to help the YouTube algorithm understand the content relevancy, and rank my video higher, so that it can help other Elementor folks. Cheers! See you in the next one.